establishes firm grip over the hearts and minds of mankind before Jesus had ever said it was war. You think Russia doesn't run on greed? You think China doesn't run on greed? What is greed? This, the world runs on individuals pursuing their separate interests. The great achievements of civilization have not come from government bureaus. Einstein didn't construct his theory under order from a, from a, a bureaucrat. Henry Ford didn't revolutionize the automobile industry that way. In the only cases in which the masses have escaped from the kind of grinding poverty you're talking about, the only cases in recorded history are where they, where they have had capitalism and largely free trade. If you want to know where the masses are worse, worse off, worst off, it's exactly in the kinds of societies that depart from that. So that the record of history is absolutely crystal clear that there is no alternative way so far discovered of improving the lot of the ordinary people that can hold a candle to the productive activities that are unleashed. And what does reward virtue? You think the uh, communist commissar rewards virtue? You think a Hitler rewards virtue? You think, excuse me, if you'll pardon me, do you think American presidents reward virtue? Do they choose their appointees on the basis of the virtue of the people appointed or on the basis of their political clout? Is it really true that political self-interest is nobler somehow than economic self-interest? You know, I think you're taking a lot of things for granted. And just tell me where in the world you find these angels. <laughs> Sir, am I not wrong? Now, I that's the first problem in Hamlin. Let me be honest. Let me be truly honest. Most of you, most of you have chose to find drugs more than you choose life at hand. Let's be honest. I know most of you have done meth. Most of you have done some other sort of drugs. Some of you have not. For the people, for the people that have not chose drugs over life are the life and saviors. The true embodiment of the good souls of Hamlin. I have been watching Hamlin for the last five, six years, and I can tell you that I have seen change. I have seen change. I have seen. I've seen more than an evolution that happens in Pauline more than you might think. I realize now that most of you have chose drugs over life. That is what makes greed part of the survival guide of Pauline, Pennsylvania. See, most of you get, in, get so deep inside your heads Most of you get inside your head when you drugs are a savior to all of you. Most of you, when you buy your drugs, when you buy your uplifting products, you have all turned yourselves into the greedy, low-life king think that you can rule the world the way you th the way you were taught to rule the world you as a person should know that that is not the way that is not the way that you as a person should feel about the rule of the world 
I know how to rule the world because I have been here long enough. I have been here long enough to realize that I can do anything that I want to, even when I have no budget on this YouTube channel so far. Even though that I have no money, no job, I know exactly how to rule my city, my town, the way it should be ruled and the way it should be judged. And people aren't listening to the thoughts inside of everybody else's head. I hear greed every step of the way, every time I walk down a road, every time I walk down the street of Parliament, Pennsylvania, I see greed somewhere coming out of somebody's mouth. And that, that is one reason why I chose greed as one of the major things that happen inside Parliament, Pennsylvania, and the one thing that I know should be part of this survival guide, and my survival guide. Greed is one of the most, is, greed is one of the most important things that happen inside this town. Just know that it doesn't matter if you're some sort of king, some sort of high roller, some kind of person with a fancy color, if you think takes the form of King Joe, for instance. There's greed written all over his face when he was around Parliament. And I know, I know he was one of the people to be a mama's boy that got what he wanted. Take Clayton, who always decides decides to do the things he does and thinks that he can be a king, thinks that he can do anything that he wants. He has a high opinion of himself. Take Corey Sparan, who is very egotistical such as Clayton, a high opinion of himself, but yet so incredibly blind and dumb. He wouldn't know what life is if it hit him with a frying pan. And I know this. I know this for a fact because he is so blind and dumb and obviously related to the wrong people to tell him how life runs. But it's too late for him, is it? It's too late for anybody. You all choose to do the wrong things. You all chose greed over ego. Greed is over ego in Palmer. Greed is over ego for many, many, many reasons. Greed is over just money. Greed is one reason why I sit here and tell you. All of your mindsets in Palmerin, they all, not all, but all things start with greed. And it all starts with drugs. And it all starts with meth. It all starts out with someone that has a high opinion of himself and drags you in into their little clan, into their little mindsets to play around in your mind. That is one of the many reasons why I chose greed as the first step into my survival guide of Palmer, Pennsylvania. And I want you all to know that all your 
egos will catch up to you. All your egos from greed. All your egos from greed will stop and like strikes like a lightning bolt. Life will catch up to you and you will know firsthand that that is not the way to see life as it stands. Life can be controlled into different reasons. Greed should not be one of them. Greed should be... Greed should be part of a egotistical mindset. So if one, if, so if you're one of those people who have a very high opinion of yourself, not only is, I'm not going to mention the girls, but it's one thing. But if you have a high opinion of yourself, and you have a cocky, egotistical attitude, just know that nobody fucking cares about you. Nobody in this world is going to ever care about you in the long run. I know. I've done it. I've been there. Having a high opinion of yourself, having a egotistical, cocky attitude, it doesn't get you anywhere. I've made those same mistakes. I've been there, I've done that, and I've checked it off my list. But I'm not finished. I'm nowhere close to finished with all of you. And you all know that. So. Just know. If you have a high opinion of yourself like Corey Spivano. Or act like a king like Clayton. Or act some. Or act like. Or act like you have bigger balls than everybody else, like Danny and Richard. No one's gonna fucking care about you in the 